trading van life for car life. Check out my sleek new ride, y'all. It's got all the bells and whistles. Ooh la la. This is where I sleep. Oh, that's so comfy. Plenty of room to stretch out. As long as I have the doors open. I'm just kidding, y'all. <laughs> this is just a rental car. I actually flew to Charleston, South Carolina for a work trip. I'm shooting a wedding and I have like seven other photo shoots scheduled. So it's a really busy week for me um, here in South Carolina. Because it's such a busy work week for me, I think it's the perfect opportunity to check in with Natalie and get an update from her and see what she's up to. Who's ready to see Natalie? <laughs> but before we do that, y'all, let's take a minute and enjoy the beautiful scenery. Okay, it's time for an update from Natalie. <laughs> what up, YouTube? Okay, there you go. Again, I'm filming, not Abby, so bear with me. <laughs> Anyways, uh, I wanted to come on here and touch base with everybody. Um, I know over the last couple weeks, it's been an interesting transition to the channel and I know that I have not really been around and I've had a lot of people commenting and all that um, but if you had watched our video where me and Abby kind of explained what was going on that we have opened our relationship and that we are now in separate rigs then you are caught up um, however I know that I have not seen you all in a long time and that is because I have been stationed um, in Montana doing my thing on the cookbook so I have been kind of just throwing myself at this cookbook every single day on the grind testing recipes working on my stories and working with a publisher which I'm super excited about we are looking to have the cookbook come out in 2024 so it is a journey and a process and I am also just going through my own personal journey I know that we didn't really give a lot of information on that last video that we explained that we were parting ways a little bit I'm not trying to give every uh, specific detail of my life as that unfolds. However, I want you to know that I am doing really well. I really am throwing myself into the cookbook. I am preparing for winter in Montana. It's just helping me to stay kind of in one place and kind of get back into a routine. That for me is uh, very, very crucial for me to focus on said book. Um, it's something that has been in my mind for years, but it, it's finally coming to fruition and it means a lot to me. And so that has been my focus, not traveling right now. Um, and Abby very much wants to continue traveling. And that was kind of the reason that we felt was necessary to get separate rigs so that she can continue and do what she wants to do and explore her photography and her art and her new relationship, um, which also I am very, very supportive of. Um, like I said, me and Abby spent a lot of time communicating with each other and you know, talking and we, this is just kind of the path that our lives have taken and we very much are happy with the way that we're able to look at the situation and look at more love and look at relationships and a totally new dynamic. And it's been invigorating for our relationship and for our personal lives and just growth and, you know, having more understanding of each other, having more understanding of each other's needs and wants and, and, and just at a practical standpoint of you know, me being able to sit and really pay attention to um, what I'm doing with this book and Abby to be able to be the, the fairy <laughs> traveler that she needs to be. And so, yes, we will be caravanning again soon, um, but I will be here for the winter, um, hopefully just really honing in on this book and um, taking it serious. So yeah, this is going to be a video about my new toilet that I got to install in Tawanda. And as you know, that me and Abby have had our kind of makeshift toilet. And so this is a huge deal for me to have a real composting toilet. Ogo, thank you so much. I'm super excited to get out in the spring and absolutely just shit my brains out. <laughs> Sorry. I had to. You guys have missed me. What's up, YouTube? How are you? I've missed you too. I will be upgrading my composting toilet to an Ogo composting toilet. I'm excited to be installing one of those and I want to take you along on the install. The first thing I'm going to do is work with the existing bench, but I need to raise it slightly to fit um, the new toilet. So yeah, come along with me for a little while and you can see what I'm up to.
Today I'm installing the Ogo composting toilet into my bench. I'm having to rebuild the bench and raise it a little bit so it'll fit the new height dimension. Um, so I'm just building a frame with some two by threes and then we'll put the existing doors or at least on that side back on. That's it. First thing I gotta do to install the drain kit for the urine tank is I'm gonna lift this, keep this up, and then I'm gonna take the tank, pull it out, and pull out the solids bucket. And now you can see I'm going to have to take this piece, um, just take a box cutter and cut it out, and then. It's going to fit in a, this piece, which is double-sided. Just we'll screw that in, and then the PVC pipe will run from that to the urine tank. Voila! Almost there! Let's try again. I'm going to have to take my hand off. Calling reinforcements. Okay, so you have to excuse my video work. Okay, don't have all the camera equipment. I have my phone. Abby is the expert on that. However, I'm gonna go ahead and install now that I have my hole for the drain for the pee pee. I'm gonna go ahead and fit the toilet over the hole. This is for the airflow, so I just need to attach our lovely hose. Whoop, we'll go onto that. And yeah, then I can screw in the toilet and then build the rest of the bench around it, and voila. All right, I can't hold the camera while I do this, so catch back up with you. All right, so now that we got the vent, I need to take this 12 volt wire to plug in the fan so that it doesn't, you know, stank up the place. These are easy peasy. Just open the things, click it open, and then put in your wire, and then click it down. Woo -hoo -hoo. Take my positive, slip it in, boom. Now we're ready to screw the toilet into the floor. One, two, three, four holes. Very simple. All right, so it's nice and secure. So I'm gonna put the slide pin back on. And then I've got my double piece for my PVC pipe to go for the P drain. So I just need to screw these two in or four in. Let's do that. Yes, I'm holding the camera while I'm doing this. <laughs> Brand new people. Okay. All right. Ooh, ah, now we take our fancy drain pipe, shove it in there, and then the urine tank will meet with this, and boom, straight down to the gray tank. <sighs> it's a game changer not to have to take out the, uh, the pee thing. However, this one is nice and large, holds 2.4 gallons, so either way works. Whatever you desire. <laughs>
comes with a nifty spray bottle for cleaning. There are two latches on the front side to lock it in place so that when you're driving on those crazy roads, you're not gonna lose your pee pee bottle all over the place. A 2.4 gallon pee jug with lid and handle. What? I told you I would tell you at the end of the video, I did not. So this here is a pipe so that you don't even need this. How amazing is that? You could have a drain, it has a drain kit. So then you just install this little pipe, you run it through your rig and then you can take it to a gray tank and then you never ever have to dump this or use it at all. And so that's the route that I'm going. And so that is why I can't open this fully because that pipe is running and then it disconnects to the diverter. So when you close this, boop, it's connected and you just go. You should never have to dump your pee. That is like an agitator button and a drain kit. Oh go, you're doing it right. I'm gonna keep it short and sweet. Um, like I said, most of these people that have stuck around on the channel have really been there for me and Abby and supported us and really just have been inspired by us. And I don't want people to feel that we have completely just shifted away and we're trying to, you know, um, keep that all to ourselves. Um, obviously when you put your lives out there on social media, you know, there's, there's an expectation of the viewer, not that that's something that needs to be, you know, that I need to hold on to. However, I do very much respect to the people that have been here for this journey. And so um, what I can tell you is that I am healthy. I've been working out, um, taking care of my body. I've been meditating. I have been um, doing all the things to learn more about myself. I've, I feel this year has really cracked me open in a lot of ways. A lot of new people that we have met have um, had an influence in our lives and we both are going through, um, you know, a lot of stuff. I think everybody is doing that. A lot of deep, um, introspective work that needs to be done. And it's been a beautiful journey. It's been tough. It's been all the things. Um, but Abby and I are very much happy. We're more connected. I'm just excited for the future and whatever that holds for us. Uh, we still want to have a homestead. We still want to do all the things. But right now in this portion of our lives, we really need to focus on our growth so that when we come back together, we can really like just really thrive and we're able to support each other on each other's journeys. Um, so yeah, hopefully that helps everybody and know that I'm here again. I'm on Instagram, um, doing my cooking stuff there so you can see what's going on with that and, um, stick around. This channel has, Abby is, is the, is the person behind this channel that really made it happen and the editing skills and, you know, yes, I was a personality, but the storyline and all that definitely goes to my wife and I wouldn't want her to stop that at all knowing that I wasn't going to be around for a few months. Um, that's absolutely, you know, she needs to tell her story as well so yeah anyways love you hopefully you'll see more of me here and there coming up shortly but for now i'm going to be hibernating like the bears so catch me on instagram if you're interested about the cooking and thank you ogo again for the toilet and you'll have to check out when i actually try it out and give you a review of my first poo <laughs> bye sweet home. <sighs> Y'all, it feels really good to be back in my tiny home after an amazing but long and busy week of work thousands of miles away across the country. <laughs> How did y'all like that update from Natalie? That toilet is really cool, right? What an upgrade! I'm really excited for her. She deserves that. Um, and if you're interested in getting your own Ogo composting toilet, the links are in the description. Be sure to check that out. It was really good to see Natalie, y'all. I miss her so much. I talk to her every day, but it's nice to be able to share what she's been up to with you guys as well. Speaking of upgrades and changes, it's almost time for a big one, y'all. This time, next week, I'm gonna be in another country. That's right. <laughs> and what that means, y'all, is that this is the last chance to purchase an original painting from me because the logistics of shipping original paintings from another country is just 
I don't know, too much for me right now. So this is it. And because of that, and because I'm just trying to stockpile a few more funds before this big adventure, I'm having a flash sale on my artwork. I have eight original paintings for sale and I'm letting them go for $75 each. Normally they're priced much higher, but I want them to find a good home and I don't want to take them across a border with me. So now's the time if you've ever thought about buying my artwork, do it. I'm about to cross the border to another country and I don't know when I'll be back to the States. It's gonna be a while. So I will have prints available for sale on my shop. Even I can even send those out while I'm uh, abroad. But uh, original paintings, this is it. So if you want one, get it now. You have until Thursday. And then I've gotta shut it off because I won't be able to mail them. This size I normally sell for $1.99. $75, y'all, and it can be yours. This one's really cool. It wraps over the edge. Super bright and colorful. It's gonna look great on your wall. And these little ones come with an easel to stand on, which is pretty cool. So, this could be yours. $75, and it will help fund this next big adventure for me. So the link is in the description to purchase any of this artwork. Check it out and it would really make my day for these to go to a new home that will cherish them because right now they're just taking up space in here. I don't have a lot of space in here so it'll look great in your home. <laughs> I also have some prints on hand and they're five by seven prints and I'm doing what I call a surprise five. So for $25, I'll send you five prints. You don't know exactly what you're gonna get, but it's a discounted price and so it's kind of like a fun surprise and you'll get um, five prints to hang or do what you will. So I'll show you one of them just so you get an idea. So I've already got them kind of Set out that one, you guys remember that. Yeah. Yeah. So each set of five is a different five. So you never know what you're gonna get. And I have five sets available for $25 each. All of this is listed on my shop online um, and yeah, I really appreciate each and every one of you who purchases my art. Not only does it just make me feel really good as an artist to know that people appreciate my work, but it also helps keep me on the road. So thank you guys so much. <laughs> and that's it for this week. I will see you next week as we prepare for the next big thing, y'all. Um, I bet you can guess where I'm going. I bet you can guess. You guys know, right? Leave your guesses in the comments, um, and you'll find out if you're right next week. <laughs> I'll see you then. All right, now we're ready to screw the toilet. Okay. So you can now have a gray tank, gray waste. What? <laughs> So, like I said, I had to raise my bench about four inches off the ground, so now my feet do not touch, they dangle when I'm on the bench. Not when I'm on the toilet, but when the padding is back on. I am very much dangling. But that's okay, because this is more like a reading nook now, and then that's like my side to, you know, eat and whatnot, because I'm solo in this van now, so, you know, I've got some multi-purpose benches now. <laughs> no worries. See you guys next week. These videos are made possible through the support of our patrons. Join the Ride and Seek crew on Patreon today. Thank you, crew!